and let's look at the first question as you can see all these questions the coefficient of x squared is 1 so we start by listing the factor pairs of the constant factor pairs of 12 that's what we've listed and because the has a square term the bracket one each one should have x because x times x when you expand should give us the x squared and remember factorizing and it's the reverse of a spanning bracket or a spanning bracket is the reverse of factorizing so they work the opposite way so you put each of the x in one of the bracket then select which pair will add up to 8 that is it and they are all positive so you put each number in a bracket so it's x plus 2 and x plus 6 and when you expand and simplify you get exactly that so it's as simple as that so when they are all positive very easy to do let's look at this we list the factor pairs to make negative 12 and we pick a pair that will add up to negative 4 now here I've listed two sections because uh, a negative times positive is negative so it could be this section or that section now once you've exhausted all your factor pairs choose a pair that will add up to make a negative 4 and it's this one so by putting x in the bracket one bracket will have minus 6 one will have plus 2 so it's just as simple as that so important thing is to know how to list your factor pairs and possibly know how to reverse the sign when they are not all positive let's look at this one factor pairs for 20 minus 20 I decide the factor pairs you don't forget to put x in each bracket we are choosing a pair that will add up to positive 1 so it's this one will give us positive 1 so negative 4 here and positive 5 here. You can switch it around 5 and minus 4, but the sign must be maintained. The last one factor pairs it could be positive times positive or negative times negative because negative times negative is also positive. We are looking for a pair that will add up to negative 9, and it's this one. So you put x in both brackets, and that's simple as that. So when the coefficient of x squared is one this is the method that is safer to use now we're going to look at where the coefficient of a squared is not equal to one 